we're sitting on treasures of resources and carbon that can be recirculated to enable us all to decarbonize. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, thank you. Okay, so I'm really excited about this stall. Could you tell me a bit about what's going on here and what Biome is? Of course, I'm Ehab. I'm the founder and director of innovation at Biome. And we take waste streams and resources that are perceived to be of less value and transform them into high performance products. But at the core, it's all inspired by natural process, biological systems, and we take all of our inspiration from nature. So on your stall, there are lots of different things, and I know that you use microbes. Could you tell us a little bit more about that? Absolutely. What we do is we look at examples in nature that produce materials and products that give us the performance and properties that we're looking for in industry, and then we implement that using living organisms. So we make insulation for building, which is a very high-performance product, out of mushrooms or the root structure of mushrooms, the fungi. And we've also developed other chemical and natural processes that are able to take any food or agricultural waste and turn it into a material using a different technology. And what we're really trying to demonstrate is that we're sitting on treasures of resources and carbon that can be recirculated to enable us all to decarbonize in a much easier way than we had thought. I see, and I'm also seeing a lot of masks here being digested. Could you tell me a bit about that? Absolutely. So we did discover that one of our mycelium or fungal strains is able to, produce, to consume plastic, so it developed an appetite for plastic. And what we did is we enabled it to um, find plastic as a source that is accessible, and over time we evolved it to consume that plastic. And here you can see examples of the plastic being consumed as it's being consumed, it produces additives to drug discovery, antibiotics, and other pharmaceutical products. I see. So my next big question is, how is this all circular? Absolutely. Well, the entire process for us starts from collecting waste streams, which we offer as a service, and then we take those resources and feed them into our product. At the end of the product's life, it actually can be fed right back into the same production process. Our mycelium is cannibal, so it will consume its own. And also, all of our other products can either be fed back into the production process or be decomposed at the end of life. But we would go for biodegradation as the last resort because we can continue circulating that carbon. I see. So, in this process of, of using these different materials, have you come across any challenges or barriers in, in, I guess, making this to scale, your project to scale? Absolutely. There are so many different barriers and they seem to be um, driven by a lot of the regulations and standards that exist in the industry, which have been developed for plastic products, for example, so it's difficult to make that step. And another challenge has just been the perception. We've been trying to get mold or fungi out of our homes for years, and now we're convincing people to put them in at the start of the project, and we've seen incredible take up from the industry. I see, so it's a mix of policy and mindset shift that really needs to happen. 100%, yes. All right, so what's in store for you in the future? What do you think is going to happen? Well, we're at a very exciting point right now. We've spent the last five or seven years developing our technologies, and now we're at a point where we're diversifying them into products. And we've got things like our thermal and acoustic insulation. We've got tiles and interior furniture, our lighting. Um, and all of those come together to enable uh, fit-out projects to decarbonize in a very easy way. But moving forward, we're also going to be launching our construction system, inspired by the way carbon molecules bond to each other, and they bring together all of our materials into one place. So I think from now onwards, it's all about launching new products and making the impact a reality. That's really exciting, Ihab. Thank you so much for talking to me. Thank you so much. All right, cheers.